well-being. But how many of us have heard of the phrase well-looking? Professional females between the age of 20 and 30 years old make up this group. They pursue a healthy lifestyle, but their greater interest is beauty. Their must-have beauty items are cosmetics made of herbs. That's why cosmetic brands like Shana's Hussein continues to gain popularity. People, at all times and in all cultures, have pursued beauty. Indian women, in particular, enjoy looking flashy. But they didn't always have a lot of grooming products. Enter herbal beauty care expert, Shanaz Hussain, and her line of history-making beauty products. Now she is changing lives in a different way. Let's find out how. This is one of the most bustling New Delhi streets and a glossy picture of a thriving economy. Women here have become more fashionable of late. In the middle of Main Street is a Shanaz Hussein store. The store is as packed as it was 35 years ago when it first opened. The crowd is proof of the brand's success and popularity in India. Young customers are very interested in new products. We asked one customer what she thought. I'm happy with Shana's products. It's purely 100% herbal based. Very smooth. My mother herself has used Shana's Essence products. So it has been in my family for three generations now. Shana's Hussein Group Headquarters it's a meeting about company challenges. With the launch of international cosmetic brands in India, Shanaz Hussain faces competition. Sitting at the head of the table is CEO and founder, Ms. Shanaz Hussain. Entering India, that is the situation. The problem is, can you afford to be out of India? India is a huge developing market. If any foreign company thinks that it is safe not to be out of India. Though born into a traditional Muslim family, her father let her study cosmetic chemistry in London and other European countries. But her innovative business was born from the flowers and plains of India. It was she who started the unique concept of non-invasive herbal beauty care in the 70s. Her products nearly monopolized the market before going global. The Shanaz Hussain Cosmetics Factory in Noida, New Delhi. Shanaz Hussain products have always been custom made. So each product has to receive a factory worker's final touch to be considered complete. Shanaz Hussain products also apply the Ayurvedic system. Ayurveda is a traditional holistic healthcare system developed in India 5,000 years ago. It maintains that certain herbs can be effective in cosmetics. A variety of plants and herbs that have long been the subject of research are on display at the institute. Countless herbs are stored neatly in the warehouse. They are stored in different conditions, according to type. How did they get all these herbs in the first place? And we are uh, having our own farmhouse also, from where we are getting most of the herbs. Shanaz Hussain insists on using natural herbal resources because she has long known of the potential harm of chemical beauty products. 
That's why she began researching and making all natural beauty products without chemicals. Organic beauty products can be made in many ways. Shanaz Hussein products extract undiluted solution directly from flowers and herbs. Uh, of course, I would. I would like to ask her that you know she's done such a great uh, favor to the world by introducing Ayurvedic products and all. We just want to. I, do, I don't really want to ask. I want to tell her that you know uh, the uh, thank you for introducing India to the global market as far as Ayurvedic products are concerned. And because of her pioneering effort today, a lot of international cosmetic companies are using the same formulas that probably she may have introduced five decades ago. Shanaz Hussain is a pioneer in herbal care, having set the standards that others now aspire to. This is why foreign buyers are steadily calling on her, asking for her advice. If they find that costs are high, so first six months, one year, maybe. Many wish to learn her secrets of success. That's why she set up a training center for foreign buyers and visitors to learn more about skin, hair, and body care. This woman from Hungary came to learn how to make all natural herbal beauty products. You can try the products out yourself. I have experience with uh with Dior, with Matisse, with Gino, uh, you know, these uh, big companies from Europe, but uh, uh, no uh, company has so good quality products like uh, uh, Shana's help us, and because of that, I'm coming here to learn. Recognizing the need for educated women in India. The company opened this training school 30 years ago. What is the difference between all courses are free and professionals trained here have all found satisfying careers in India's cosmetic care industry. The principal, a once aspiring medical doctor, joined Shanaz Hussain's beauty school 30 years ago. Here's what she had to say. Through her, I have trained more than one lakh student normal then uh, deaf and dumb also sharp mute, then uh, boys also I'm teaching uh, men also, then the destitute women like the Kuwait war, the Bangladesh war, the Punjab terrorism, the Srinagar terrorism, she used to give lot of concessions and the women were not educated. So beauty basically is a practical field. Another classroom. It looks like a massage therapy class, but not a word can be heard in the room. Aha! This is a training class for students who are speech and hearing impaired. Shanaz Hussain has long had a place in her heart for the disabled. She tries her best to help educate them. <laughs> This is a beauty salon in North New Delhi. With more Indian women advancing in society, beauty salons are thriving. The owner of this beauty salon is also a graduate of the Shanaz Hussain Beauty School. She is very happy with how her career has unfolded. I started with uh, uh, just 2,000 rupees a month, uh, but then um, right now it's, it's, it's in thousands and thousands, so of course it has really done wonders for me. It has really increased my power, I can, I can, I can do whatever I wish, I can, I can help others and I can really uh, lead a good uh, life myself too because as we age we have certain other demands of health also. 
Today, students who have completed their six-month training course are graduating. Shanaz Hussain personally hands out the diplomas. It's a small but highly precious trophy. The students bow and express gratitude to Shanaz Hussain. Most have landed jobs, so you can imagine their excitement to work. Our basic aim is that they must be, become financially independent and have confidence the way other people have, so that they should not feel that because I'm deaf and dumb, I have any handicap. That's very important. Shanaz Hussain's success. It's her dedication to the Indian herbal heritage and social service that has helped build her remarkable career. Oh, you could call it chickpea powder with honey and things like those which used to rub in the face and it used to cleanse the face and it used to remove the tan and all. So those are all Indian sensibilities and that is what Shainaz Hussain has understood. India should promote Ayurveda more than we are doing now because the whole world is looking towards nature and uh, plants and roots and flowers and the earth you know, uh, back to nature movement. Worldwide there's a back to nature movement and in that movement I think India plays a very important role. Innovation in creating high quality natural beauty products has made Shanaz Hussain India's greatest beauty mogul. But she doesn't rest. She is ready to take on the global market and without any fear thanks to her steady line of successors. Shanaz Hussain is most definitely a successful businesswoman who commands the respect of many and also gives back to the community.